All right, guys. So we got our first uh, prenatal appointment today. Woo uh, you're officially eight weeks as of today. Yep. It's uh, what the heck is it? March sixth, twenty twenty-three. Um, a little anxious about this. Like, I'm not anxious. Like, it's a different type of anxious because you know we've done this before. But I've had two dreams now that I was pregnant with twins. So we're, I guess we'll find out today whether or not that's, uh, uh, you know, a, a reality or if she's yeah. just having crazy dreams. So I, I think it's just crazy dreams. I think I'm not worried about it. I think so, too. But my only concern is that when I had a dream when I was pregnant with Scarlett that we were having a baby girl, we uh, obviously she's female. So I don't know. I don't know if it works like that, too, where you dream you're having twins and it's real. So I don't know. Some dreams <laughs> do come true. I, but I don't I don't think that's the issue. I, um, you don't think it's an issue? I don't, I don't think that's the issue. I don't think that's what's happening. I don't think that's what's presenting yeah, itself. Yeah, um, so we're going to find out. Um, let us know if you think it's... Well, you'll, you'll probably know by the title if it is or not, if it was, but I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm just very anxious about yeah, it. My think, stomach is, like, turning. and We were, like, super excited going into the, uh, the appointment the last time around. I don't feel that same level of... Uh, I mean, I, I'm happy and yeah. excited. I just don't feel that same it's anxiety, different. I guess. Like, there's none of that. The anxiety is gone. I guess that's just what it is. There's I think because no... we know what to expect. Yeah. It's like, like okay. I'm not worried about no. anything. I'm. I, it, it's just weird. It's so weird it's how I feel. Very different this time around. Yeah. But it's going to be a good time. So that's, that's what we're doing today. And hopefully we can show some of that. It's a different doctor this time. Uh, from last time, so we're not sure if we're yeah. going to be able allowed to film certain things, but we'll try and I we'll mean, see what we can get away with. So she, she did deliver Scarlet, so yeah. Well, she also butchered your internal organs, so you know it is what it is. Why did I choose her for this doctor for this pregnancy? She's very sweet. I do she's like a her good a lot. Doctor, yeah, I mean, so. you can't. It's I mean, not her fault. It's not Everything her fault. Went wrong. Like you know, Scarlet's head got stuck. So it is what it is. That's a different time. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, we're going. We're going. Oh, I see you. That's the yolk sac, and that's the baby there. Mom, I've had a dream that we had twins, so <laughs> I'm very curious. Don't say that. <laughs> I, well, it was identical, so I don't see I, I don't see two in there, so that that's a good start. <laughs> oh, I see the heart. Yeah, the strong heartbeat. Oh, hi, baby. Hello there, baby. Hello, baby. Baby, baby one. Yeah, we do have a nickname of Butters. I don't know if you guys know that yet, but now you do. If not, it was so different this time because with Scarlett, she was uh, she was almost nine weeks gestation, so she was like flapping around and waving, and I was hoping that would happen this time, but I'm only eight weeks, so I guess like the week difference mattered. Yeah. Can but, I interrupt real quick? Yeah, go ahead. How weird it is that this baby's on the other side. Like Scarlett was over here in the oh um, in the uterus. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. The other side. It's like I'm gonna sit. Well, on I this think side. I wonder. I, I might correct me if I'm wrong, but I think like it just matters how you ovulate. Like yeah. that's where the uh, oh, the egg just, popped out of that it's side. Just interesting. But um, yeah, the appointment went well. It's just such a different experience. Like since we already done this before, like we know what to expect and everything. Um. I am, you know, I got a lot more factors going on because of my age. I'll be 36 when I deliver this baby, so a little bit of different things going on. Uh, my anatomy scan wouldn't be here at my doctor's office. It'll be at, like, a place that's more for, like, is it called high risk? Yeah, like, it's, you have a high risk specialist going yeah. over the ultrasound. So, like, just uh, go really into detail and be very thorough about the baby and everything, so that's okay. The rest of the appointments will be with my regular doctor's office. Um, yeah, uh, we discussed, you know, how to deliver this baby, which I thought I was going to be shot right down with whether, you know, can I have, because I had a C-section with Scarlett, I was induced and then it ended up with a C-section, um, sorry, it's stuck, we're under a bridge, uh, she said it's up to me what I want to do if I want to try for a VBAC, um, of course there's, uh, risks to that, which include uterine rupture, which Ken is very worried about and doesn't even want me to try this. Well, the success rate at its highest is 38%. Yeah, so... I mean, that's not... Because I have a lot of factors going on. Because number. I usually have high blood pressure right now. I don't because I want to get pregnant. It goes away for some reason. Um, I think we're just going to see if I end up with diabetes again and just, you know, how we're going. Like, we're just going to take things week by week and see. It's not like we had to make a decision right now. Um, I really would love to try for a VBAC, but... If it's too risky, then I won't. So I would 
I would argue it already is too risky, but um, it's up to you to decide. I know. You know. It's just, it's scary to think about, and I wish we could just know, like, would this be successful? Will it work? Am I that's, wasting my time? That's why they give you the percentages. I know. Because um, I'm already, they said I wouldn't even be able to take the medication that they used to induce me, the mesoprostol, because you can't do it once you've had a C-section. So just I would anyway. only... Yeah, it didn't work. I would only be able to do the Foley bulb, which I hated, and the oxytocin pitocin, which I also hated. So, I don't know. I'm only eight weeks. I have lots of time to think about this. But, and overall, good news. Baby's fine. Heartbeat looks good. She couldn't get like a, re a reading right now, but she said it was probably above 160. That's usually what it is right now. And there's only one baby, so we don't have to freak out about that. <laughs> My dreams were wrong. Unless it's hiding. I could be hiding. <laughs>